Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It's quite simple to keep a um, society civilized, let's put it this way, and that is by providing a certain kind of culture, you know, uh, promoting a certain kind of culture. And if you promote a different kind of culture, you're going to have a different outcome. But promoting the right kind of culture in a society, uh, knowing what you want, knowing where you want to end up to, and um, implementing uh, or at least coming up with the right policies, laws, and then enforcing those laws, then we'll have a uh, good, I think, a more chance to have a uh, civilized society. And you will not infringe people's rights, liberties, and so on, pursuit of happiness. So, what do we have here? We have here a problem with, I think is a second problem in the past month or so, or so, in the state of Illinois, where a mob of about 500, in this case, teenagers, uh, just destroy an event, a peaceful civilized event, a carnival. They just descend like wild beasts, which they are uh, doing this, and uh, they destroyed and close a peaceful family-oriented carnival. The police shuts down the whole thing. Now, in a society that turns or has big tendencies of becoming tyrannical tendencies is on the way, is not there yet, because it's, if they would be over there yet, they would just say this, this, this. But they are still keeping the pretense of freedom, liberty and democracy. What do they do? Let's say they, let just, I'm going to give you this example. Let's say they want to take your guns away, all right, as a US law-abiding citizen. But I can't really say that straight yet. So they will create a problem somewhere or take advantage of a problem that probably was created by themselves in the first place. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. We have, let's say, a culture, a certain kind of behavior of certain kind of group. In this case, we have these teenagers who invaded a peaceful carnival and they attacked like they attacked downtown Chicago, if you know in the Magnificent Mile, the main street the, uh, in, in Chicago, they attacked people on the street, a mob, a mob of teenagers that you can slap around. But some people can't slap them around because of the number and the physical inabilities. But some people might feel very, very threatened. So what some people might do, defend themselves using whatever they have at their hand, disposal. And that will be a problem because these guys were waiting for that. Instead of fixing the culture, you know, the environment, instead of defending the ones that were attacked, they will say, these guys defending themselves using this. Therefore, we have to go back here and we have to infringe more and more laws of carrying guns, for instance. This is just an example, all right? So you take the police out of the streets, what do you think will happen with criminality? Will decrease or increase? Do you think the criminals will say, well, I'm gonna, not going to do that because there's no more cops. I'm just going to stay home and apply for a job in construction. I'm going to show up at work every morning and I'm going to work 10 hours a day and earn my living, pay my taxes and be a, I don't know, a productive member of society. Do you think that's how the criminal thinks? They are obviously not. No more cops. No more rules, no more enforcement. What am I going to do? Even think people that were deterred by, hey, there's cops, but I can't uh, rob that bank because they have security services. No more security services. I might do it. So criminality will increase. Now, these teenagers, I have footage here, jumped over there and did what they did. Nobody did anything like I'm talking about, which is great. I hope nobody got injured. The problem is here. What would I do with this? mob that descended on this peaceful families and people, citizens. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I have this article, which uh, actually it's a video and I have another one right here. Is it T Timely Park Carnival canceled Sunday after fights break out during teen flash mob? All right, so we have, I'm going to show you some videos how these teens descended on the people. I'm gonna just jump to jacket. The girl said their friend is doing okay, but what unfolded last night and concerns of it happening again tonight led village officials to cancel. 
library and we were trying to call all our parents and trying to get them to pick us up because we were all like really scared. The young girl said one of their hundred teenagers organized a gathering on social Look media. That. This cell phone video shows police officers trying to break up the crowd Saturday night. Another video posted to social media shows one of multiple fights that happened on carnival grounds. Isabel Padola and Abby Kaiser. All right, my friends, this is America, right? right? A rush of people running. I saw everybody running. So what happened? They will blame it on, you know, on um, past uh, this or past this or something like this. What would you do? I would arrest each and every teenager that uh, uh, did this. And I will do what the law requires to do. And eventually they will get in juvenile homes. And then when they get, get adults, they will be uh, judged in a, an adult court. And that's what's going to happen. That's what should happen. You can't just not have consequences. Don't give me the, their teenagers. You have responsibilities with your rights. All right. So if you don't know what you're doing, so maybe someone else has to teach you what to do, but <laughs> how to behave in a civilized society. And you have the parents, if they have parents, or parent they have the schools they have the media and they have the politicians is that the culture i guess when you promote this kind of uh how should i put it uh, uh tolerant uh atmosphere and environment what do you expect will do people will say well i think i'm gonna i'm gonna be good because those guys are understanding and loving and i will be giving a loving back really <laughs> i don't think so uh, human nature doesn't work that way. So the problem is here, not that the, the kids, the teenagers react that way necessarily. What's going to happen now? Because remember, if I go, let's say, not I, let's give another example so people don't uh, get the wrong ideas because you deal with idiots sometimes. Let's say someone, uh, you know, goes to a, uh, I don't know, uh, wants to rob someone's house and he gets shot when he robs it because the person over there shoots him being afraid of his life and blah, 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 shoots him do you think that people will be more or less inclined to rob the same person if they know that that guy did it one time or did it i think one time will be enough do you think a robber would say well i'm gonna go and to uh, to rob mr gigi because mr gigi shot the previous uh thief that tried to rob him what do you think the, the robber will do the criminal will say shit I will avoid Mr. Gigi because Mr. Gigi means business. He shot someone in defending himself, his property and his life. So if I go over there, he's probably going to do it again. Unless the government disarms Gigi and tells Gigi, bad job, did Gigi. Then the, this guy says, okay, then he's not going to do it again. And the neighbor doesn't have any guns to defend himself. And I'm talking about institutions as well, not only <coughs> private citizens. So the same here. If these teenagers do not get punished by their violent, uh, wild, animalic behavior, how are you going to teach them? Giving them candies, cuddling and giving them some, I don't know, some money, some, I don't know, I don't want to go into that one, but you know exactly what I mean. Because somehow they have some little problems from nowhere. Just civilize yourselves. How do you think they civilize themselves? I just explained at the beginning. The right culture the right laws the right enforcement but that should not be at the expense of uh, personal liberties and freedoms okay but if you act like that i would get a very 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 rough punishment therefore uh, people do not go and rob gigi because the punishment was deadly in that case i hope they don't i'm not let's put it this way because in this society you have to say these things I'm not uh, supporting uh, someone, you know, harming anybody else. But in self-defense, I think if my life feels threatened, I don't give a, how should I put it? You know what I mean? Don't come near me. Don't attack me. What am I supposed to, to do? Take it and let the government take care of them? By the time I might be dead. First of all, I defend myself and you come and help me. If I can't defend myself from an attack, then you come and help me. But in the meantime, I have to withstand this thing. So remember uh, what you saw over there, that was, that was, and uh, more and more. And where? In Illinois. In Illinois, Illinois is a uh, uh, democratic state. It has very limited uh, gun, uh, you know, uh, freedoms and so on. If you have a concealed weapon permit in, let's say, Michigan, and you travel to Illinois, you can't have it. It's not recognized. So you can't carry your gun 
over there, even though, uh, you know, in the constitution says that you can't carry it, you can own it. Well, there's so many limitations that you can't, you have to have it in certain locked guns be left home, but the gun and so on. It's unfucking believable, my friends. Uh, unbelievable. And you're supposed to defend yourself against those guys. What would you have done? Fight them? They would focus on you in a second. You will be swarmed and dead. But hey, this is uh, the freedom of, uh, remember, for instance, Michigan has an uh, open carry. That is, you can carry your gun in public if people can see it. But if they, you got people like, are going to call police. There's a guy with a gun walking down the street. And the police will come and talk to you. You tell them nothing wrong and they let you go after about half an hour of checking your ass. Because you have a few idiots being all... But you see, there's the mass shooting over there. Well, how about taking all our guns away and there's going to be no more gun shooting. And those animals over there will do whatever they want in the carnival or in the downtown Chicago. Well, I told you what I would have done. Arrested, put to juvenile home, I don't, you know, you go through the process, you know, you have a judge, you have court hearings and so on. And I would do a penalty very harsh and I will put him in rehabilitation. That's how it's counseling. I know that. I'm very familiar with that. Okay. Put him in counseling and they have to, uh, to complete a certain program and they get out and they come back in because that's what happens. I know that direct experience. Not as a guy, uh, but on the other side. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.